Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the prehistoric pickle arc. It's the chapter where Hanma Baki challenged the prehistoric man pickle. Do you think pickle will accept the challenge? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside the Mitsunari Takigawa mansion. Takigawa is saying. It's not just that. It looks like he is waiting. He is waiting now. And for as many days as it will take. But the problem is the place. Especially when he is directly facing him. The fighters will compete in this arena. Empty of spectators, on top of that. He hasn't eaten for days. Hmm. Do you think that Baki can beat him? Retsu Kaio, the Kempo master was beaten. The rising star of karate, Arachi Katsumi, failed completely. And even the monstrous Jack Hanma. Hey Yujiro. Apart from those three. I don't see. Hmm. These warriors, such an army, were the most able to defend the land. Outside of them, I don't see how Baki can win. What do you think of this Mephin from Hokkaido? Yujiro replied. The dirty innards of a salmon. Oh, you're a fine gourmet. From what I see. I love that. Ha. Good. Good and therefore? Questioned by the ogre. One could say that these three people have a force equal to Baki. Old man. Baki has nothing to do with those three. Anyway. My blood courses through his veins. He's clearly a Hanma. But, Jack is also of your blood. The breast is less pure. Less pure? The outcome of his fight demonstrated clearly that his blood is not pure. Ha? Huh? So the reason he couldn't defeat him is because his blood is not pure? It's crazy that you are proud. Well then. Ogre. Could you beat him? All of a sudden, Yujiro smiled. Then he casually taps the floor. Making the sturdy tatami stands up. He continued. Don't worry old man. Listen well. Baki isn't the type to give up. Sooner or later, fate will lead them to fight. And in the end, it will be me who devours the winner. Baki, endowed with the capacities of his father, will finally confront Pickle. We now move on inside the Karakuan underground arena. Baki is thinking. I will not allow any more advantage. No one else but me. Will face Pickle. I want to make the first move. But I am not ahead of others. It's not even that at all. To start. It is better to do it now. You stay still, as you wish. In this way. Until the right time come. As of now, that's what I will do. I will be like you. Breathe the same air. If you like sleeping, you sleep. And if you are hungry. It's clear. Pickle will certainly eat me. If he's starving. We now move on inside a certain restaurant. Dr. Payne is saying. No. That's the rule. What? You're going to tell me that the problem with Pickle is rules? We have omitted certain things. And? Come on. Don't leave me hanging. It's a game Jack has already beaten. You're talking about the T-Rex. That is preserved in the USA? He has surely killed many of them. Regardless of their weight. But. But it's a cultural artifact. This isn't just a question of meat, like beef or pork. Not forgetting the question of who it actually belongs to. Pickle decided himself what belongs to him. Indeed, the body of a dinosaur is a cultural artifact. There's no doubt about that. But for him, that doesn't change anything. Furthermore, Pickle. He is alive. Back inside the Karakuan underground arena, Pickle suddenly stands up. Baki question. What's there? Then we see two scientists in the hallway of the arena. They are saying. It's impossible to put a value on what we have here. It's the real meat of a T-Rex. 40 kilograms. I think it's good here. We can leave it 100 meters from the arena, without fear. Come on. If he finds us here, he'll kill us. Then Pickle happily brought the dinosaur meat inside. Baki then said. Hey. Pickle. This isn't the time to eat. Then Baki became surprised. Because Pickle offered him some dinosaur meat. He then said. But it is raw and covered in sand. But Pickle didn't understand him, so he still reached his hand to Baki. The young Hanma has no choice but to take it, saying. Fine. If you insist. Then Baki took a bite. He then commented. I don't know what it is. But it's good. 
both of them just happily ate the dinosaur meat. They were starving, and therefore, they couldn't fight. Now that the problem is resolved, they can fight anywhere and anytime. They are finally ready. After eating, Pickle took a nap. Baki then said. Ha, I'm stuffed. Then he looked at Pickle. Really? Now that his hunger is satisfied. Will he fight? We now go back inside the restaurant. Dr. Payne is saying. He won't fight. Not anymore. Our team has achieved excellent results. What results? Using the flesh of the preserved T-Rex, we can reproduce its cells. Is that really something that is possible? Two years. Pickle can eat the T-Rex for two more years. That's sufficient time to put our results into practice. Pickle will not go hungry anymore. But if his hunger is satisfied, of course, there is no longer any need for him to attack. Yes. At worst, he take pleasure in dessert like us. After that, Takigawa visited Haneyama Kaoru. He then said. That's what Mr. Payne said. Haneyama replied. Mr. Payne is a man of science. He can't think in any other way. Hmm. Then what does Yakuza like Haneyama Kaoru think? You, a real street fighter. It was only very brief, but. I had the chance to measure myself against him. What? Against Pickle? You did? When? Where? It was only a petty scrap. What? No. Haneyama against Pickle. I would have liked to see that. So then, who won? Don't fret, old man. He is one of us. Whether he eats or not. He wants to measure his strength. It's like a great guy and a hot girl. Found themselves in the same room. They couldn't stay apart. Back inside the Karakuan Hall, Han Mabaki is thinking. I'm standing right before a warrior. I look him straight in the eyes. And we're in the arena. It can't finish. Without anything happening. I hadn't thought of that until now, but. There was no more effective provocation. Despite his sated and relaxed pose. Even someone who doesn't understand words. Cannot resist this provocation. Even if I approach him peacefully. With a gentle manner. This tactic will surely. Hurt like never before. Then the prehistoric man screamed. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Baki's provocation will now enrage the prehistoric man to finally battle him? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujaber, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Shion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the awaited battle between Hanmabaki versus the prehistoric man Pickle. Stay tuned.